All right, good morning everyone from Antalya, Turkey. I'm here on a short layover in this beautiful city before heading to Erbil, Iraq in Iraqi Kurdistan. Never in a million years would I ever thought I'd get to create a video like this one. But anyways, we're kicking things off here in Antalya, Turkey, my second time in Turkey in four months. And man, just look at this place, it's beautiful here on the water, the marina behind me. So obviously I wish I had more time to explore here, but now it's time to head back to the hostel. I gotta pack my bags and head to the airport. Let the real journey begin. Thank you. Tessa Kirsch, Gerdium. I just sat down, got something to eat, and got a ton of work done. Still trying to prepare for the next legs of this trip, so that was very helpful. Uh, now, one thing I will say is the last couple of weeks, everyone keeps asking, well, why are you, why are you going to Iraq? Why would you do that? Uh, what's there to see? Like, all these questions, all these concerns. Um, the one thing I will say is I love getting off the beaten path, and with this location, I've read nothing but good reviews on it. Um, it's not a huge tourist destination, which is what I like. Uh, not a lot of tourists. Uh, get away from the beaten path and explore something different. Ladies and gents, we've arrived in Iraqi Kurdistan. It feels pretty surreal to be here. All right, made it out of the airport, relatively easy process. Uh, just had to pay for the visa upon arrival and got right through. So now we're getting into a taxi and heading to the hotel. Boss. <laughs> I wait for you, bro. Yeah, you okay. want to be in it? <laughs> Super boss. Have a good one. <laughs> I just checked into the hotel, so now I'm finally setting out solo for the first time here in Erbil. Uh, we're walking the streets as the sun is setting. It's about 101 degrees, so it feels just like Phoenix. Um, so I'm used to it, no big deal. An absolutely surreal feeling. I actually can't believe that I'm in the country of Iraq right now. I never in a million years would have ever thought uh, that I'd be walking the streets here, uh, but we're just gonna walk around see if we can find a bite to eat and just get some first impressions here in Iraqi Kurdistan. I've been walking around here for a little bit. I know it's a Saturday night, but wow, this place is happening right now. People just everywhere, flooding the streets. I mean, super, super cool to see. Um, I'm right now, I'm in the center of Airville, so it is to probably be expected. But another thing I will say, and I cannot stress this enough, is that I am the only tourist, like the only one. There are, there are, no, there are no Americans here. Uh, so, really, really, really surreal experience. But now I'm gonna try and find something to eat. Pretty hungry from a full day's worth of travel. So, let's see what we can find. There we go. Some boss. All right, first meal here in Erbil, Kurdistan. We've got some beef uh, wrap, kind of like shawarma like. Uh, let's dig right in and see how this tastes. All right, off the bat, looks pretty good. Let's dig right in. Try to get everything in one bite, too. All right, pretty freaking solid after a 
whole day's worth of travel. That tastes really, really good. Um, we got the beef here, a little falafel-like thing all on the wrap. Can't get much better than this. Overall, solid, solid meal for stop number one here in Airville. Yes. All right, just had an amazing meal here. Who wants to say hi? Awesome, yes. <laughs> come here, come here. So just walking out of the restaurant, went to pay the cashier and he says 4,000 Iraqi dinar, which equates to 2.7 US dollars for that meal and three bottles of water. So I'll just leave it at that. I mean, that is, <laughs> that's incredible. So as you can see, people are really, really friendly here. Everybody keeps coming up to me, asking for my Instagram or YouTube, which is super cool. Uh, just very friendly and generous, uh, which makes this place unique. Hey, say what's up, say what's up. <laughs> As you see, it's that easy, but that's exactly why I wanted to come here and show that these people are so friendly, so generous, and they're just people at the end of the day. And I think back at home, everyone has a negative perception on this part of the world, but it's great just to be here showing that it's really not as bad as it sounds. And I'll get more into that as the trip goes on. Yeah, you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> say hi. Say hi. 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 For the vlog? Hi. Say hi, guys. Hi. What's up? All right, you're on the vlog. Uh, oh, where okay. are you guys? Are you guys from here? Yes, uh, yes. Herbil, okay. Yeah. Cool. Mosul, Mosul. Lusso, okay. Do you know Mosul? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. from Mosul. Okay, cool, cool. Good, good. That's awesome, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and if I forgot to mention, this vlog is going to be much more of a raw style vlog. Just keep the camera rolling as much as I can and just document the street life here in Herbil. And after being on the ground for about three hours, yes, I do feel completely safe walking around here. I feel like I do stick out, but I'm mixing in with the locals. They don't really seem to care. Uh, just very accepting and it just feels normal to be here. Uh, I don't feel in harm's way whatsoever. All right, so this concluding dessert, I'm gonna head back to my hotel now. Uh, it's been a long 24 hours, uh, but man, that was actually the most surreal three hour walk of my entire life. Uh, I can't even wait to get tomorrow started. Uh, so I gotta get some rest because I am now like really, really looking forward to exploring more of Iraqi Kurdistan. So I'm gonna peace out for tonight. We'll pick it up tomorrow morning. All right, it's day two here in Erbil, Kurdistan. I'm getting the day started today at Sami Abdul Rahman Park. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that uh, correctly, but it's this giant park in the middle of the city. Really, really beautiful here, as you can see behind me, big lake, water fountain. But I'm starting the day here because it's really, really hot out. It's supposed to be about 105 degrees. So just like Phoenix, uh, nothing new for me, but just here to get some shade, walk around, get a slow start to my day. Now, just to give a little background on Iraqi Kurdistan, so Kurdistan is actually an autonomous region in northern Iraq. And that means that they have their own government, their own military, their own borders. It's pretty much just like its own country, except it's not recognized as a country. They voted in favor. I think something like 92% of the people here voted for independence. Basically, it's its own country. However, it's not technically its own country. So technically, I am still in Iraq. And one way you can tell this is some of the buildings around the city actually have both the Kurdistan flag, which you can see right here, and the Iraq flag, which you can see right here on top of them, including the government building, which I just walked by. However, I'm not allowed to film that. But anyways, right now I'm just leaving the park and making a walk back into the city. Uh, just go check out some things and continue to walk the streets. Now, one thing I keep thinking about when I'm walking around here is that if you're back at home and you think of the Middle East, like this is exactly what you would think of. I mean, I am far, far away from home. It's not even funny. Uh, but this is like the perfect depiction, I feel like, uh, when you think of the Middle East, like this is 
this is what you would picture. I just sat down and take a quick break, have some tea with the locals. This is what I love doing when I travel, just mixing in with the locals and getting a true authentic experience. But that tea always tastes fantastic, very local experience, just like in Turkey. Uh, now I'm gonna try and find something to eat again for meal number two. Not sure if you can hear it on the GoPro speaker, but the call to prayer is being played right now. Still one of the most surreal things about traveling through the Middle East. Uh, never, never ever gets old uh, listening to it. I just got to the bazaar, sat down at a local kebab spot. If this isn't authentic, then I don't really know what is, so let's give this a try. Kebab. All right, so with the kebab, you take bread that they give you and then put the meat on, you kind of make it yourself. Tomato. Some onions and then lemon, lemon to top it off. Wrap it up and then dig in. All right, just walking out of there, that was kind of a crazy experience. Uh, that place was mobbed with people. A little awkward filming just because it's so authentic. People aren't used to the cameras in there. But the food was incredible. Cannot recommend it enough. Definitely recommend going into the bazaar, finding a great local spot, and enjoying a nice meal. All right, so now I'm heading to check out one of the most famous mosques in all of Iraq. And I'm walking down some of these back streets on my way there. So really, really local experience. And everyone wants me to take a picture of them. So we'll pull some of these up right now. So as you can see, everyone's just so happy to see me. Uh, they love the camera, not camera shy at all. So we're just getting some great content out in the streets here in Erbil. Uh, Arizona? Arizona. Arizona, that's where. Arizona. I live in Arizona, in Phoenix. Yes. Yeah, very, very hot. I have uh, friends, guys uh, uh, in Arizona? I, really? Arizona, California, Las Vegas, New York. Wow. Uh, you know Pennsylvania? Philadelphia? No. No, okay. That's where I'm from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're from Erbil? Erbil. Erbil. Thank you. Uh, Supas. 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 Take care. Supas. Supas. Those guys just invited me off the side of the road to have some tea. Uh, they were very, very kind, very generous, trying to tell me what to do here in, in Erbil. Uh, the language barrier is very tough. I'm trying to pick up on as much Kurdish as I can, uh, but the barrier is pretty obvious. But nevertheless, it's just great to be interacting with the locals here. Okay, we have arrived. Look at this magnificent mosque behind me. That's picturesque. Um, one of the most beautiful ones I've seen. So we'll try and walk around, see if I can get in to check it out. So unfortunately I can't go inside, but this is a little glimpse of I think what it looks like inside, but it's supposed to be magnificent in there. Uh, just the textile is just incredible, the different colors. Uh, this thing is just amazing. Uh, it's kind of breathtaking to be honest with you. And I'm sure even inside is just that much more incredible. So glad I came over to check it out, even though I wasn't able to make it in. So. Let's head back to the city and just keep exploring around. Okay, actually I'm gonna take a taxi since it's 107 degrees outside and it also saves time and it's pretty easy. So let me show you how this is done. Uh, Shenandoah Park? Park. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah.
So as you can see, it's a relatively easy concept. And the best part about it is these guys don't try and take advantage of you. I've taken about four or five taxis today and each one of them is about 5,000 Iraqi dinar, which equates to about three US dollars. So it's very cheap. Nobody's trying to overcharge the price of the taxi. So it's very, very useful for getting around Erbil. Now going along the lines of getting around the city, walking is definitely the easiest way. Uh, within the city limits, like everything you would want to see here is no more than a 30 minute walk away. Okay, so we're going to head up to the Citadel first because it closes at 6. Uh, try and catch the sunrise up here. We're walking up a big hill. Hopefully we'll get a good vantage point from up here. So as you can see, a really cool vantage point from up there. The sunset was beautiful. Uh, and the Herbal Citadel is also recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, so it's located smack dab in the middle of Erbil. Uh, it's this small little village up on a hill here right in the middle. So really cool place to check out. This is kind of the epicenter of the city where all the life is. Uh, it's just great to have a good point to look out to uh, over top of everything. All right, the sun is set, it means it's officially time to grab some food. I think instead of going to a restaurant, I'm just going to try a bunch of different street food places. So let's just kind of mosey around and we'll see what we can find. I'm sure it's just a lot of shawarma and kebab. <laughs> Both of those are really, really good. Uh, the people are just so friendly here. Uh, and the best part about it is both of those meals combined with a drink just under $5. So I can definitely get used to that. All right, that is going to conclude this day. What an incredible day. Probably one of the best days of my entire life, to be honest with you. Just so, so surreal getting to walk around and meet so many friendly people. Uh, everywhere I go, whenever I say I'm an American, these people just light up with big smiles. They're just so happy to see me here. They want me to take their picture, offering me free stuff. Uh, they're just so kind and so generous. So it's been absolutely amazing today getting to explore all of Erbil. But as you can imagine, I am pretty freaking tired after walking around in the 100 plus degree weather. So I'm gonna head back to my hotel and get some sleep. Uh, that's gonna conclude this vlog from Erbil. Tomorrow I'm gonna head to another location in Kurdistan. So stay tuned for that. We'll make a separate video. Uh, but thank you for watching this one. I know it's been a, it's a little bit of a different style, more of a raw feel to it, which I'm trying to go for uh, here in Kurdistan. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you in the next video.